Microsoft Word allows you to insert a wide range of images. It also allows you to create your own images by using the shapes function. You can find both functions in the insert tab in the ins illustrations group under pictures and shapes. To insert an image, begin by placing your cursor where you want the image to go. In the Insert tab, select Pictures. You'll notice a drop-down menu appears, which offers three different options. Inserting your picture from this device, stock images, or online pictures. If you already have the picture downloaded from the internet, select this device, and then locate the picture in your computer. Once you've hit OK, your picture should appear in your document. Alternatively, you can use your computer's copy and paste function to insert a picture, or you can drag a picture from your desktop into your document. To resize an image, you first need to click on the image itself. You will notice in each corner and around the sides that little white or grey dots appear. If you hover your mouse over them, you will be able to resize the image. Click and hold and drag. It's recommended that you only use the four corners when you're resizing an image. If you use the other four points, your image may become distorted and not fit for purpose. Cropping an image allows you to delete a section of that image that you don't want. This leaves you with the important part of the picture remaining. To do this, select your picture. Once you've clicked on your picture, you'll see picture format appear up the top of your page as a new tab. Select picture format and then find the crop option. When you select the crop option, you'll see thick black lines appear around your image. To crop your image, click and hold on those black lines and you'll see the area that the image that you're cutting off your image. If you're happy with your image, once you have cropped it, click off. If you want to make your own image, you can insert shapes. To find this option, click on the Insert tab and then find the Shapes group in the Illustrations group. A drop-down will appear with multiple different options. Select the shape or line that you want to use, and then use your mouse to click and hold, and it will draw that shape. A shape format tab will appear at the top of your screen, and it will give you different functions in terms of colouring in that shape, putting borders around that shape, or aligning that shape in front or behind other shapes. Have a play around with it. A handy tool to use when you're working with images or shapes is the grouping feature. This allows you to combine multiple shapes or images into one shape or image. To do this, you need to hold the shift key whilst you click on your first image and then while still holding the shift key, click on your second image or shape. You'll see that both images have a box around the outside. From here, you should select the shape format or the picture format tool and then find the group option. It'll open a drop down which has group and ungroup. You can select group. You'll then be able to move all your shapes and all your images at the same time. If you've realized that you don't want these grouped anymore, repeat the steps, but select ungroup. 
Alternatively, you can create images in a wide range of different software options. Commonly, you could use something like Microsoft Paint.